A second day of military drills has been taking place in Venezuela. This comes as new economic sanctions are put in place by the United States. And President Donald Trump hints at military action against President Nicolas Maduro. CGTN's Juan Carlos Lamas reports. Government supporters agree these military exercises are necessary to show the strength of the Venezuelan army. On the other hand, the Venezuelan opposition has criticized these drills. For opposition leaders, these activities are a shame, a waste of time and money, money that can be used to alleviate the extreme shortages of food and medicines Venezuelans have to live with. Now, according to the Defense Minister, Vladimir Padrino Lopez, warplanes, tanks, more than 200,000 troops and 700,000 reserves and civil militia members have been deployed across Venezuela. Most civilians are being taught how to use military equipment. The Defense Minister told them the exercises are for the defense of the country and against imperial aggression. There are reports of six people who were killed during an armed encounter between Venezuelan uh, militaries and an allegedly illegal Colombian armed group in the state of Tashira, western Venezuela, on Saturday. Later that day, the governor of the Colombian department of La Guajira, Wetle uh, Guerra, through his Twitter account, denounced the attack of the Venezuelan army in Colombian territory. The defense minister, Patrino Lopez, denied the alleged incursion of troops of the Venezuelan army within the Colombian territory. The, president, the Venezuelan president Nicolás Maduro said, quote, most Venezuelans are ready to fight and give everything they have to defend the country, no matter the consequences. Juan Carlos Lamas, CGT in Caracas.